on my way coming, the Spirit of God dropped a word into my spirit. And I was meditating on the word. And the Holy Spirit referred me to his word. John chapter 15 verse 5. I'll share word, a short word with you. And after that we'll share the grace and leave here. Hallelujah. Amen. A word dropped into my spirit and the Holy Spirit referred me to his word. He said, I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him. The same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. Without me. So without God, beloved, you cannot finish your assignment on earth. Apostle Paul said it. He said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. He said, I labored more than all the apostles. And not I, but by the grace of God. So in other words, it's God who helped Apostle Paul to finish his race. He said, without me, you can do nothing. Without me. Listen to me. One of the reasons why a lot of people are helpless on earth is that, beloved, they lack someone in their life. Oh, yes. A lot of people are helpless. A lot of people are helpless. David said, he said, I lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence cometh my help? He said, my help cometh from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. The maker. So the last time I said it, without help from above, you'll be helpless. You'll be helpless on earth without help from above. We are helpless because we lack a helper or a comforter. And when you read the Bible in the book of John chapter 14 verse 26, Jesus Christ called the disciples, 14 26. 14 26. He said, peace I live with you. But the comforter which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Jesus told the disciples, he said, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, the comforter. Listen to me. Other version will tell you the helper. Give me another version. Let me see. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, the helper. So the Spirit of God is our helper. The Spirit of God. Listen to me. The Spirit of God is the master on this earth. He's the master. Without the Holy Ghost, beloved, you'll be helpless. He's our helper. And when you study the Bible very well, you see that the generals in the Bible, the great men and the great women in the Bible, they were able to finish their assignment on earth because the helper called the Holy Spirit. The reason why a lot of people are helpless on earth is that they lack the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, beloved, you will not reach anywhere. Without the Holy Spirit, beloved, you will not succeed in your marriage without him. So he said, he said, without me, you can do nothing. Without me, without the helper, without the Holy Spirit, beloved, you can do nothing. Anything that you will touch on your hands will not prosper. Without the Holy Ghost, I pray that in the name of Jesus, may someone attract help from above. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in your journey of life, may the Holy Spirit help you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Listen to me, I have a message I will preach. I'm, I'm praying that God will allow me to preach that message this week. How to win your battles. How to win your battles. Beloved, without the Holy Spirit, you cannot win your battles. And life is a warfare, not a fanfare. Everyone was born to fight. Everyone was born to fight. But without the helper, without the Holy Spirit, beloved, you cannot win your battles. Stay the Bible and see all the generals in the Bible. They succeeded because of the Holy Spirit. Because of the Holy Spirit, we need the Spirit of God in this end time. We need the Spirit of God in this end time. In the book of Luke chapter 1, verse 5 coming down. Let me start from verse 5 and I will, I will end it um, 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 in verse 23. We all know that there was a great man. I think I've, said, I've quoted this scripture several times. There was a priest or a great man called um, 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 Zachariah. 
The Bible said that Zachariah, eh? The Bible said in the days of Herod, king of Judea, a certain priest named Zachariah in the course of Abia, her wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth, verse 6. Verse 6, but they had no child because, and they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. Blameless. And they had no child because, uh, because that Elizabeth was buried, and they were both now well stricken in years. Elizabeth was buried. She was buried. But the Bible says that one day he, her husband had an encounter with the angel of the Lord. Let's continue. He said, and it came to pass that while he executed the priest office before God in here, in the other of his course. Now, continue, let's continue. Verse 9. According to the custom of the priest office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. Verse 10. Verse 10. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. 11. He said, and there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. Ha! Huh. Zachariah had an encounter with the angel of the Lord. His, has, his wife was buried. But Bible said that the man was in the temple and he had an encounter with the angel of the Lord. Angel of the Lord. Let's continue. And he said, and when Zachariah saw him, the angel appeared unto Zachariah. The Bible said when Zachariah saw the angel, he was afraid. He was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, he said unto him, fear not Zacharias for thy prayer is heard and thy wife Elizabeth shall conceive or shall bear thee a son and thou shalt call his name John. John. The angel appeared. Please take your time. The angel appeared unto Zachariah. Your wife will conceive. Your wife, she is a barren, but she will do what she will conceive. But when you continue, the Bible said, and the angel said to Zachariah, he said, you have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his bed. And I, lost, I love the next verse. Mm -hmm. But the angel said, but thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his bed. But the angel, and the Bible said, and the angel said to Zachariah, he said, he shall be great. Makunda hata, he shall be great in the sight of God. And he shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he said, he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. Even in his mother's womb. In his mother's womb. He shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. Listen to me. Z Z John the Baptist came to this earth for a purpose. Everyone was born to do something. But listen to me. John the Baptist finished his assignment because of the Holy Ghost. The man was filled with the Holy Spirit even in his mother's womb. Are you here with me somebody? The man was called or he was born to prepare the way for Jesus. He was born to do what? Prepare the way for Jesus. But the man was filled with the Holy Ghost even his mother's womb. Makundi Atu Shatai. He was filled with the Holy Ghost. The angel said to, the, to, to, to Zachariah, he said, he shall be great in the sight of the Lord and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. So it means when you conceive, eh, a witch or an unclean spirit can fill your baby in the womb. If someone is in the womb, the Holy Ghost can come upon the person. An unclean spirit can also come upon the person. It is possible. But listen to me. When you are in your mother's womb, the Holy Ghost can fill you. John was in, in, in his mother's womb and the Bible says that the man was filled with the Holy Spirit. He was filled with the Holy Spirit to finish an assignment. Finish an assignment. We need the Holy Spirit. Let's continue. Verse 16. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord, their God. Let's continue. Makunda hatai. Miadu shakatai. He said, and he shall go before him in the spirit. The man is filled with the Holy Spirit. He said, and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias. Other version will tell you Isaiah. To turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the disob disobedient to the wisdom of the just. To make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Prepared for the Lord. Listen, the man was born to prepare the way. 
to prepare a way for Jesus to come and minister and bring salvation to mankind. And listen to me, Senipa way or Basan come on to me, but the Holy Ghost came upon him. Which of God prepared him to work for God. So, in other words, no one on this earth can work for God without the Holy Spirit. Without the Spirit of God, you cannot work for God. You can't use your strength. The Bible said that by strength shall no man prevail. By strength shall no man prevail. John the Baptist was born. The man was born to prepare a way for Jesus. Are you here with me, somebody? So when you read the Bible in the book of John chapter 1, verse 19 to 23. John chapter 1, verse 19 to 23. The Bible says that and the Jews, one day the Jews sent um, 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 the, uh, you said the, the Jews sent um, um, priests and Levites to go to Jerusalem and ask John, that John, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> he said, and this is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from, Je from Jerusalem to ask him, who art thou? Who art thou? Let's continue. Who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I said, they are making in our journey free so about John the Baptist. The man was born to prepare a way for Jesus. He was born to do what? Prepare a way. But the Bible said, the angel said to him, you'll be, you'll be filled with the Holy Ghost even in his mother's womb to prepare a people for the Lord. And the Bible says that, and he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. Let's continue. I am not the Christ. And they asked him, what then? What then? Art thou Elias other person will tell you Isaiah. And he said, I am not at thou that prophet. In other words, they asked him, are you the prophet? And he answered, no. Verse 22. Verse 22. Then said, then said they unto him, who art thou that we may give an answer to them that sent us? What sayest thou of thyself? Verse 23. He said, I am the voice. I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. As said the prophet Isaiah. Make straight. Make straight. Luke chapter 3 verse 4. Luke chapter 3 verse 4. Huh. Luke chapter 3. He said, as it is written in the book of the, of the words of Isaiah. He said the prophet saying, the voice of the one dragging in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his, his path straight. Make his path straight. So he was born to prepare a way for God or for Jesus to come and bring salvation to mankind. So John the Baptist finished his assignment. He was able to prepare the way for Jesus because the Holy Ghost came upon him. The, the man was filled with the Holy Spirit. Without the spirit, you can't work for God. A lot of people are working for God without the empowerment of the Holy Spirit or without the, the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, you can't do anything. Say the Bible and see, from John the Baptist, you come to Jesus, you come to the disciples. They were all helped by the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God helped all of them and they were able to finish the assignment. And that is the reason why Jesus Christ told them that the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, when he comes, he will teach you all things. He will lead your path. The Spirit of God is the master in the school of divine guidance. He is there to lead us. He is there to help us. Listen to me, without him, you'll be helpless. Amen. You'll be helpless. Without the Holy Spirit, you'll be helpless. Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. You see, Jesus, um, John the Baptist came to prepare the way for Jesus. The man was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God prepared him. Now, he, he, he prepared the way for Jesus. Jesus Christ came. Now, let me start from here. When the angel of the Lord appeared unto Mary, the Bible said that the angel said to Mary, Mary, you are highly favored. Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. You are highly favored. You are highly favored. I think, no, not Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1 verse 36. Luke chapter 1 verse 36. The Bible says that the angel of the Lord said to Mary, you are highly favored. You will conceive. They will name the child Jesus. And Mary said to the angel, how can this be? Listen. 
Everyone listen. Mary said to the angel, how can this be? For I know not a man. How can this be? John prepared the way. Jesus, the angel came with a prophetic word. Mary said, how can this be? For I know not a man. And the, and the angel said to Mary, for the spirit of God will come upon you and the power of the Almighty will overshadow you. In other words, without the Holy Spirit, Mary, you cannot conceive the Holy One. You cannot bring the one who will, bring, who will save the nation to the earth. You cannot. And the spirit of God, listen, he said, and the spirit of God will come upon you. And the power of the Almighty will overshadow you. So it means Mary conceived because the Holy Ghost came upon her. The Spirit of God came upon Mary. The power of the God came upon Mary. And Mary conceived the Messiah. Mary conceived because of the helper called the Holy Spirit. Now, Mary conceived the Holy Spirit. So Mary conceived Jesus and Jesus came out. He, she gave birth to Jesus and the Bible said that when Jesus Christ came to this earth, the Bible says that and Jesus Makunda Hati Hatai one day the Bible says that and, and the Spirit of God led Jesus. He said Jesus being full of the Holy Spirit. Luke chapter 4 verse 1 and Jesus being full of the Holy Spirit returned from Jordan. Luke chapter 1 Luke chapter, sorry, Luke chapter 4 verse 1 and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost being full of the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost that came upon Mary and Mary gave birth to Jesus. Now when Jesus came to this earth, the Bible said that and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted. Makunda Hatai. Let's continue. Mm. Being 40 days tempted of the devil and in those days he did eat nothing. Nothing. And when they were ended he afterward hungered. The spirit led Jesus to the wilderness to fast 40 days. The spirit led Jesus to do what will help him to finish his assignment. The spirit led Jesus to do what will help him to attract power from above to finish his assignment. Listen to me. Without the Holy Ghost, beloved, you cannot do anything. Without him, you can't work for God. You cannot finish your assignment. Study the life history of Jesus and see. Jesus finished his assignment on earth because of the Holy Spirit. Because of the Holy Spirit, beloved. He finished his assignment. We need the Spirit of God in this end time. Jesus finished his assignment because of the Holy Spirit. He had told Shatai. Luke chapter 4. That is verse 1. That is verse 1. Now, give me verse 14. Verse 14. The Bible says that when the Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness to fast 40 days and 49, the Bible says, and Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit to Galilee, and there went out a fame of him through all the region ran about. Verse, 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 verse 18 to verse 19. The Bible says that when Jesus Christ returned in the power of the Holy Spirit, the Bible says he went to Galilee. He was in the temple preaching and the Bible said that they gave him a book of Isaiah and the Bible said he opened the book and he found the place where it was written and Jesus said for the Spirit of God is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the word to the poor. Heal the broken hearted. Makundi Atosha. Preach deliverance to the captive. He, he said preach deliverance to the captive. Heal the blind set free those who are downtrodden and, and proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Jesus said for the spirit of God is upon me to preach the word, to heal the sick to raise the dead, to transform lives. So beloved, it means without the Holy Ghost, you can't do anything. Listen to me. Ministry is not about grammar. Ministry is about power. And the spirit of God is the power of God. The spirit of God is the power of God. Jesus Christ transformed lives. He raised the dead. He performed miracles. He did so many things because the spirit of God was upon him. The man was filled with the Holy Ghost. The Bible said, and Jesus Christ grew in the spirit. Beloved, we must grow in the spirit. We need the spirit to transform lives. We need the Holy Ghost, beloved, to do exploits. We need the Holy Ghost, Father, Makundi Atosha, to transform destinies. Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit. Hey, listen to me. You may think that you are educated. And because of your, your certificate, you go far in life. Don't forget that scripture. Without me, you can do nothing. 
without me. I know educated women and educated men who are struggling. Life is all about the Holy Spirit. Life is all about the Holy Spirit. Beloved, don't use your strength. Don't use your certificate. I'm not saying it's education any other part. And you go to the school. But listen to me. If you have I'm, 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 I'm degree certificate. If you have PH, is it PhD? If you have PhD certificate and you don't have Christ, you don't have the Holy Ghost, I am telling you, you'll be helpless on earth. You'll be helpless. You'll be helpless on earth without the Holy Ghost. Can you listen to me? I pray for you that in the name of Jesus from today onwards, the power of the Elohim the power of the highest will come upon you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I said, may the power of the Holy Ghost come upon you. May the power of the Holy Ghost come upon you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Hey. The Spirit of God helped Jesus. The Spirit of God helped Jesus. Jesus finished his assignment on earth because of the Holy Spirit. Because of the helper. So when you read the Bible, you see that when Jesus Christ finished his assignment, the Bible says that Jesus Christ called the disciples and he told them that wait for the promise. Come down somewhere for me. He said, wait for the promise. Jesus told the disciples. Wait. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Jesus told the disciples. He said, wait for the promise. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you receive power. You do what? Receive power after the Holy Ghost. He said, but ye shall receive power after the, after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. When Jesus was about to leave the earth, Jesus Christ gave them a key. And that key is the Holy Spirit. In other words, Jesus told the disciples, if you want to perform miracles, if you want to do the miracles I did, the secret is the Holy Spirit. So as I'm leaving, let me tell you, you people, don't rush. Wait. Wait for the Holy Ghost. Wait for the Holy Ghost. Because it's the Spirit of God that prepared Jesus to perform miracles, raise the dead. So Jesus told them, wait. After the Spirit has come upon you, you receive power. Listen, 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 listen. A, a, a scripture just dropped into my spirit. It, do you know that when Jesus Christ died, hmm, it was the Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from dead. Jesus. Hey, listen, listen, give birth to Jesus. When Jesus came to this earth, the Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. The, Jesus and Bible said Jesus returned in the Spirit. And the Bible said he went to the temple, they gave him the book of Isaiah. He opened it and he said, For the Spirit of God is upon me. He finished everything. The Bible said the man was crucified, he died. And the Bible says that if the Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, Makundi had a dress in you. So it means Jesus Christ succeeded on this earth because of the Holy Ghost. Because of the Holy Ghost, the man died and the spirit raised Jesus. Hmm. Everything is about Jesus. Everything is about the Holy Ghost. You need the spirit of God. In your ministry, you need the Holy Ghost. In that company, you need the Holy Ghost. In that institution, you need the Holy Ghost. In all aspects of your life, you need the spirit of God. You need the spirit of God. You need the spirit of God. The spirit resurrected Jesus. And Jesus called the disciples and said, okay, wait. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, receive power. Or my secret, you know. Me secret, or catch me secret any Holy Spirit. Me secret in Holy Spirit. And to my mom, pray. Don't rush. Wait for the Holy Ghost. After the spirit has come upon you, receive power. You receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And beloved, listen to me. Peter was nobody. Peter was nobody. But when Peter obeyed the instruction of Jesus, when Peter waited for the Holy Ghost, the Bible said the Spirit came upon them. Came upon them. And the Bible says that, and Peter preached and instantly 3,000 people repented. And henceforth the church began to grow. Peter was nobody. But when the Holy Ghost came upon him, the man was able to preach. Listen to me, beloved. Listen to me. Without the Holy Ghost, you cannot preach. Without the Holy Ghost, you cannot heal. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot raise the dead. Without the Holy Ghost, beloved, you cannot do anything on 
this earth without the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Cannot do anything. Peter, after the Holy Ghost came upon him, the man preached the word. And we, oh, I think, I think someone, are you the one? Someone could take that scripture. I was in the office and I heard it. I don't know if you are the one or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But listen to me. The Bible says that Peter eh, told the man, he said, gold and silver I have none. Are you the one who quoted that scripture? The gift? Friday. It was Friday. Who? Budu. Budu. Okay. It was Nana. It was Nana. Huh. The beautiful girl. He said, gold and silver I have none. But what I have is what I give. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And the Bible said the man stood up and began to walk. After the Holy Ghost came upon Peter, Peter performed miracles. Or be unknown to me, Nancho, or Statisa or Nante. Or Statisa or Nante. And listen to me. A scripture just dropped into my spirit. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. After God created the earth, the Bible said that in the beginning God created the heavens and earth. The earth was formless and void and darkness covering the surface of the deep. Makundi Hatai covering the surface of the deep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the earth was without go back and the earth was without form. And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The spirit of God. The spirit of God. The spirit of God. Listen to me. If you carry his presence, if the spirit of God is with you, beloved, I am telling you, you will not lack any good thing. I say you will not lack any good thing. God created the earth and he found three things on the earth. Formless, void, and darkness. But the Bible said the spirit of God moved upon the surface of the earth. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Beloved, you need the spirit of God in your journey of life. Amen. You need the spirit of God. If the spirit of God is with you, beloved, you will not make mistakes. Amen. Apostle Paul said it. He said, and the spirit didn't allow us to go. The spirit didn't allow us to go. Apostle Paul said it. Because because But because of the Holy Ghost, you know, Bible says, Listen to me. Without the spirit of God, you cannot pray. Without the spirit of God, you cannot fast. Without the spirit of God, beloved, you cannot do anything for God. You cannot. You cannot. You need the spirit of God to prophesy. The Bible said the spirit of God came upon Zachariah and Zachariah be began to prophesy. The spirit. So sometimes, eh, what happened just last Friday? Is it Friday? Where's the lady? Where's the lady? She didn't come to church. God healed the lady. From, God delivered the lady from the spirit of what? Osa. I'm not the one who healed the lady. It was the Holy Spirit. So the Bible said anywhere the presence of God is, in other words, anywhere the spirit of God is, there is total liberty. There is total liberty. There is total liberty. This is the secret of beloved. This is the secret. If you, even if you're a man of God and the Holy Ghost is not upon you, you can't heal the sick. You cannot prophesy. Sometimes you see Frederick mentioning names, saying deep things. I'm not the one doing it. It's the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of God came upon Zachariah and the man began to prophesy. The man began to prophesy. Listen to me. Be a secret. Be a secret. He will reveal everything to you. The spirit of God will reveal everything to you. So call unto me and I will answer you. And I will tell you great and mighty things. May the spirit of God come upon you. Amen. I said may the spirit of God come upon you. Amen. And let me tell you this. 207, 208. When I had an encounter with the angel of the Lord. Sorry, with Jesus. I was in 100 days fasting and prayers. And I had an encounter with with Jesus. And listen to me, one of the prayer, God gave me prayer topics. And one of the prayer topics God gave to me is the Holy Spirit. And I've prayed this prayer more than 15 years. It's one of my prayer topics, one of the prayer topics I don't joke with. The Holy Ghost. Sometimes I can fast. I'm, today I'm telling you one of my secrets. I'm telling you one of my secrets. 
It's the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I told Selom and some of the guys, if you want to operate effectively, if you want to be sharp in the spirit, you need the Holy Spirit. Finish. Finish. It's the Holy Spirit. So David said, he said, don't take your spirit from me. The man realized that do not take your spirit from me. David said it. Do not take your spirit from me. My secret, one of my secrets is the Holy Spirit. So listen to me. If you can fight the Holy Spirit, you can fight me. If you cannot fight the Holy Spirit, beloved, then Frederick, I will continue to operate in the Spirit. I'm telling you, that is my secret. That is my secret. My secret of prophesying, secret of preaching the word, secret of healing the sick, is the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. Finish. When the Spirit of God come upon you, He will anoint you. Jesus said, for the, spirit has, is the, for the Spirit of God is upon me. For the Spirit has anointed me. So without the Holy Spirit, beloved, let me tell you what, you will lack anointing. You will do what? Anointing to sing, anointing to preach, anointing to heal the sick. Without the Holy Ghost, you will lack anointing. So one of the reasons why most of our gospel musicians, they lack anointing, is that, beloved, the Spirit of God is not upon them. They lack the Holy Ghost. Anytime I'm about to take the microphone, I go on my knees. I say, Holy Spirit, lead me. Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, let your will be done. Jesus Christ taught the disciples how, how to pray. He said, when you pray, say, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. He said, and lead us not into temptation. So when the Holy Ghost is upon you, beloved, the Spirit of God will not lead you into temptation. He's the one who will help you not to fall into temptation. The Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit. One day I listened to a great man of God. God took this man to heaven. And I call heaven Obusa, Holy Obusa. Um, say, Father, where is the Son? So this is the Son. And he asked, Where is the Holy Spirit? He said, The Holy Spirit is on earth. God told the man of God, He said, The Holy Spirit is on earth. The Spirit of God is here to help us. He's here to help us. The Spirit of God is here to help us. The Bible said, anywhere two or three shall gather in his name, that is where the presence of God, the Spirit of God is. And anywhere the Spirit of God, there is total liberty. As you are standing here, the Spirit of God is here. Amen. As you are standing here, the Spirit of God is here. The Holy Spirit is here. Holy Spirit is here. Healing may take place in your Holy Spirit. Deliverance may take place in your Holy Spirit. Everything it's about the Holy Spirit. So, beloved, listen to me. From today onwards, don't use your strength. Use the Holy Spirit. I said, don't use your strength. Use who? Use the Holy Spirit. Use the Holy Spirit. Use the Holy Spirit. Don't use your strength. Don't just read the scripture. <laughs> beloved, listen to me. Frederick, I always tell people, me, I don't have degree certificates. I have the Holy Ghost. And if you have the Holy Ghost, Eh? I am greater than you. I'm telling you, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, a lot of people are educated, but they, they lack power. The last time I said, if you want to understand the Holy, if you want to understand the scripture, one of the keys that will help you to understand the scripture is the Holy Spirit. If you want to understand the Holy, the, 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 the scripture, you will need the Holy Spirit to understand the scripture. Who gave the scripture to us? It's the Holy Spirit. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. All scripture is given by the inspiration. All scripture. 2 Timothy. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. Inspiration. And it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. The word inspiration means spirit. The word inspiration the word inspiration in that in, 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 in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 means what? The spirit of God. So in other words, all scripture is given by the spirit of God. 
or scripture. So if the Holy, if, if it is the Holy Spirit that gives us the word, the scripture, and we want to understand the scripture, is the same person who will help us to understand the scripture. Finish. One day I was there and someone came to me and said, Papa, I, I always read the Bible, but anytime I read it, I mean, yes, yeah. I mean read it, it's a graphic. Hey, you can take um, any science book and read it and understand it. You can take any um, economics book and read it and understand it. But when it comes to the scripture, without the Holy Spirit, you cannot understand it. Because listen to me, you can pick just a word. Eh? Everything, every word in the scripture eh, carries something. Every, every word in the scripture carries something. So the psalmist said it. He said, open thou my eyes that I may behold the wondrous things in thy word. The wonderful things in your word. The word of God. Beloved, listen to me. Every book is made up of letters. But the scripture or the word of God is made up of wonderful things. I'm telling you. Oh yes. Every book is made up of letters. What you are reading in your letters who? I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God. So what I'm reading, I'm reading the power of God to you. I am telling you. Because I don't know what you mean for book you read and what you are simple graphic. Anytime you read the graphic, you understand it. But anytime you take the Bible, the reason is that, beloved, you lack the Holy Ghost. You lack him. If the spirit of God is upon you, you will take the Bible, you will read one sentence and beloved, you will understand it. I'm telling you, everything is about the Holy Spirit. Life is about the Holy Ghost. Without him, you can't do anything. He's our helper. He's there to help us. He's there to help us. The Holy Spirit. Sometimes, Frederick, I can't remember 2000, is it 2010, 2011? I fasted 70 days. I didn't ask anything. I said, Father, what I need is your spirit. What I need is your spirit. Fill me with your spirit. Let your spirit come upon me. That is what I need. Because if you have the Holy Spirit, everything will be possible. Everything will be possible. In your journey of life, everything will be possible if you have the spirit. Beloved, today I've given you one of my secrets. You can go and fight against me. But if you overcome the Holy Spirit, you can overcome me. If you cannot overcome the Holy Spirit, forget it. Forget it. That is my secret. Let me one man say, Sofo, now and you may see who may be a so children. My secret is Holy Spirit. I have labored and I've cried for the Holy Ghost. Cried for the Holy Ghost. Cry for the Holy Ghost. May the Spirit of God help you. Amen. May the Spirit of God help you. Amen. Listen to me. If you want to be powerful, one of the keys is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit finish. The Holy Spirit. Generation where you're lucky, sad you we into na yebre no. You're lucky. Hey, me minister me namani me say. Met me a kind of crutch at a while, and some yaka guma soon spiritually yaka guma summa mate, and you may be a man yame mehuno. Men can cramaka be a bear ten and eleven. I am telling you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And maybe I'm too can call you. Met one and you may be starting to say, Is this a me who said demons be with him? The man is an angel, Biaba. Angel, oh, a whole lot. He be in your muscle, Chereme. So for me, to us, I'm a sorry. Oh, big boom, Rahonum, and your minister, Chem, say, they will go room, no, or join a free mace, you say, how do you call it? Is it free mace? Or join it? And Chem, you say, a member so light, tin, 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 on my babette and a honum. Free mace, you phone coin. Free mace, you phone coin. No master, this will move pretty. When you say, Holy Ghost, you knew so. The reason why a lot of people are frustrated is because they lack the Holy Ghost. Yeah, say, I'm going to make a mistake. I 
Adie bi besi bi obi so kyerɛ wo. Obi so kyerɛ wo. Obi so kyerɛ wo. The last time I had a dream. And in the dream, the spirit of God was telling me say, attack e ba be ba be bi a ye djuma o site wo. I told one of kwachere no. Me ka kyerɛ obi a, me ka kyerɛ ne say, me 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 yami bi me ne me hu say, e da ne obubugu. O mu dwiri dan ne go. And chain attack start to say e ba. Say see your site wo. Attacks are bad. One, you see, about the jury area, I am telling you, I saw it. I saw it. So after church, you could meet him. Land or be what was you be a in a meeting. We want to face the government. I'm telling you, I saw it. The BBC BN were beautiful. Was say the comforter, the Holy Ghost. He said, when he comes, he will do what? Teach you all things. Teach you all. It's a deep beer for a brabo who be a will be a so channel. A deep beer will be a so channel. A deep beer will be a so channel. I'm telling you. Be a so channel. Now, I'm going to be a show of the water. Share what I'm going to be a show of the water. Relationship. Be a Holy Ghost in our channel. Asa. Empire be bra ya bo won 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 ge 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 ni na na e holy spirit only here na sir and the day i will preach the message how to win your battles eh be preach message where we are on paye o ba be hu sir o be bono be hu sir o be bono un waste your time and to to pray and fight for baby o here holy ghost pe we we o kan hu abatun we we ni and I'll, I'll, I'll quote that scripture. It's in the Bible. I said, "Abraba, I come here, come over here, sing here, come back, get guy, get guy, ready now. Me, my bomb prayer, sir, let me hush it. My sister, I have fasted, have prayed, have done so many things, but me hush it. Give me the Holy Spirit. I'm going to make sure the Bible, we're going to catch the Israel for. Holy Ghost in Kanwa, I come here, I come here, be dim kuku." I want you to be doing kuku. I do not want you to be doing kuku. I brabo. I come to you to do not be doing kuku. Holy Spirit, asa, asa. I am who I am, Baba. I am Israel. I do not. Amen. Clap for Jesus.